Hello everybody, this is Payam. Welcome to Undesign channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually create a dark theme and add it to your design system while keeping everything organized and not uh, and not doing any manual work. So let's go right ahead and do it. So in order to do that, I need to edit my color tokens, not edit the base basically. I'm just going to add another mode. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my local variables. And then on the on the tokens, as you can see here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rename this to um, light mode. You can call it whatever you, you want. Actually, you can add multiple themes, like uh, I don't know, night mode, dark mode, and have the different contrasts for each. So yeah, it's gonna be um, super easy to edit in the future. So what I'm gonna do, this is the light mode that you already saw. I'm gonna add another one. Let's add it okay and i'm going to call this dark mode and what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the colors here and one by one i need to switch actually reverse um the color so for example this is chilled gray 50 i need to choose the last one um chilled gray 950 something like that chilled gray 50 this is third from the top i'm going to choose the third from the bottom so basically, as you can see, I'm just switching colors to make sure that um, our contrast kind of stays the same because we already created the color palettes. We don't need to worry about like ch choosing colors and stuff. And yeah, let's go ahead and do that for all. Like so. Um, like so. Well, you, sometimes you might need to edit these and find a better color but I'm, uh, for now I'm just gonna go with this one then I will see the design if I see something's not right I, I'm gonna come back here and again change it so let's just quickly change these this is the fourth and um, this is gonna be reversed alright this is the text one same here subtitle is the actually subtitle can be 400 yep and this can be 600 i'm not going to touch the negative one because that's the color of my buttons text um i mean you can change that and it, you know depending on what theme you're going to go with it's like sometimes when you are go with when you are going with a dark theme you want to have the um, color of the buttons super light. That, that way you need to have the text um, black. But in this case, for now, I'm not going to touch it. So I'm just going to keep it the same. And this is going to be like so. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and continue editing these. So this is the fifth from bottom something like that and sometimes you don't need to touch these but um yeah, for example i'm not going to touch the default one but yeah before doing so let me uh, set it the default so right now we have to change the general colors for the text icon and also borders as well as mostly the surface colors so let's go ahead and test it see how it looks right now so what i'm going to do as you can see, nothing is changed here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring a component. I'm going to add a component from my component list. So for example, let's go with input. Here. And let's edit it so we have, like, I'm, I'm going to make sure it's pressed. Okay, I, I, I'm going to make sure we, it, had, it has both icons. We need a hint. It's going to be pressed. And typing maybe the size is gonna be medium something like that I don't want to unlock it now and now let's go ahead from the layers here or if you want to change everything you can basically do the from the pages and find the tokens and change it to dark mode if I do that as you can see everything in the screen gets updated but I don't want to do that um, because for the sake of the tutorial. So let's go ahead and 
undo that so let's find the change variable mode from layers option when selecting up uh, an option an object i'm gonna click on it find tokens and i'm gonna hit dark mode all right now as you can see uh, we have entered the dark mode and if you want to like maybe i'm gonna add a I'm gonna add a background to it so you can see it better so maybe chill gray like 900 something like that so this is the press as you can see like typing you can do like whatever you want so for example um, if I want the dark mode um, to have a different color for the border I'm gonna change the style I can easily do that via variables so make sure like it's underlined as you can see everything works and let's do another one maybe let me increase the size of this one maybe yeah switch or toggle sorry toggle label i'm going to add it to you as you can see this is the light one so it does it, it does go with the light background but it doesn't go with the dark background so what i'm going to do again i'm going to go to the layers here and go to the dark mode voila let's go ahead and edit this i want to add a hint i'm going to make sure it's on i'm going to make it right justified something like that hover state focus as you can see you can easily edit these on variables the the colors i mean it's going to be disabled and so on and so forth all right that's it for this video so as you as you saw we can basically edit and add new themes to our design system so um, so right now i have light mode and dark mode and anything i design i use these from now on anything i design and use the light mode colors it's going to automatically update the dark mode so i don't have to do anything which is super cool you just create your um, way up to anything you want on design then the dark mode is already created so yeah that's it for the video thank you for watching make sure to check out the other videos on how to create a complete design system from scratch and i'll see you in the next one